Across the kitchen, Emma is filleting char, which will be baked in hay and topped with brown butter cauliflower, smoked roe and mayonnaise on a cauliflower puree. Cooking in hay is really difficult. Okay. Because there'll be a lot of flames and a lot of smoke. Okay. So I don't even do this. I just like... <laughs> I ask Gustav to do it. Oh, great. I always mess this part up. And that fills me with a huge amount of confidence. <laughs> So put the fish on the bed of hay and then put some more hay on top and then just stick it into the fire. Okay, ready? Wowzers. Okay. Whoa. What do you call that in, in English? Guy fault? Whoa. Okay. So it looks burnt, it looks ruined, but yep. it's perfect. Okay. Incredible. So that was literally like 10 seconds. Yeah. You do that again a second time yeah. on the side. So you understand why you need the gloves? Yes, absolutely. Next, the fish is placed on butter to roast in the wood oven, where temperatures hit 700 degrees. And how long does that stay in there for? 30, 40 seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah. What an exciting piece of cooking. And we just take the skin okay. and peel it off. Wow, it's quite easy to yeah. peel off, isn't it? If this not cooked properly, the skin won't come off. Okay. Right? Have a taste. So you know what you're cooking. Mmm. All right? Mmm. Good luck, no? That's amazing. <laughs> wow. So much flavour. Amazing. I've never cooked this fish and I've never cooked this way. So it's a whole new learning curve for me. Paul's fish is cod, which will be smoked over juniper and served with caramelized onions, pickled mushrooms, an onion puree, an almond cream, and a garnish of wood sorrel and grated almonds. you'll be using our newest invention, and this is the Stone Age microwave. So you'll be cooking the cod with a little bit of salt and then stick it in a lot of butter because we want that butter to be flavoring and part of the dish. And then Gustav is bringing the juniper wood. This is really important now, that the juniper is properly wet. Because if it's too dry, it'll just burn out, yeah. And it's really, really difficult to be cooking this perfectly now. And this will definitely be your most difficult thing today. Okay. So approximately 10 minutes. Okay. We're saving some of that butter for the sauce. Not very Stone Age, but it's super modern actually. So, but this is the thermometer you'll be using to check if the fish is done. Okay. So you want it to be 40 Celsius in the middle, okay? Right. Good luck. Thank you. I'm loving it here, but I haven't actually been at the stove yet. <laughs> and I know that cast iron pans retain the heat very, very well. So I'm just a little bit worried about what happens when something is a little bit too hot, because it's not something you can cool down very quickly. Simon has the lobster tails, which are served with tomatoes smoked in the chimney, sautéed lobster claw and roe, and a lobster puree with almonds. Well, first off, we're going to cook them in just boiling water. The claws for four minutes. Okay. The head, six minutes. Now for tomatoes. I hate tomatoes. Gustav is the... Very <laughs> <laughs> charged in tomatoes. No, because I think that tomatoes is not a Nordic product, but when we opened the restaurant, uh, Gustav w wanted this really this dish on the menu. Okay. And then I thought, ah, I don't want tomatoes on the menu. But then, and then all the guests were like, oh, those are amazing tomatoes. <laughs> so he was right, I was wrong. Yeah. And here we are. <laughs> so,